start home developing, you're going to need a couple of supplies. The good news is they're readily available and quite affordable. First you're going to need a measuring cup for measuring out your chemical, a container to warm up your colour developing chemicals, a couple of thermometers, a bottle opener to open films from cameras that don't leave the leader out, some bulldog clips, a pair of scissors, and a couple of cookie jars that have some airtight seals on them to prevent your chemical from evaporating or going bad. You will also need a daylight developing tank. I grabbed this one off eBay for $30 delivered. And the most expensive piece of equipment that we will be using is an Apple iPad that has the Lab Timer app installed on it. The good news is the Lab Timer app is also free. First we need to preheat the chemical. So place your container down and start filling it up with hot water. Now we're going to place the chemicals inside because the chemicals need to get up to temperature. So we pour in the hot water until it is level with the level of the chemical in the bottom of the cookie jars. Then we place one of the thermometers inside the developer because the temperature of the developer is the most critical. And then using a bulldog clip we will secure the second thermometer to the side of the container. The temperature that the developer needs to be at is 39 degrees Celsius. As you can see, the thermometer is reading around 38 degrees. So we're just about ready to start developing. The first thing we need to do is get the tap water to 39 degrees. Because the first step in developing color film is to preheat it to 39 degrees. Use the thermometer to measure the temperature of the tap water as it's coming out and adjust as necessary. Now we'll fill the Pyrex mug up to 250 millimeters. 250 milliliters is the correct amount to fill the developing tank. Holding the tank at 45 degrees, we slowly pour in the water. And the reason you need to hold it at 45 degrees is to stop the water from bubbling out. This is the same with all of the chemicals to stop them from bubbling out. Whilst the one minute pre-soak occurs, we're going to measure out the developer amount. And we're going to be using 250 milliliters of developer. Now that the one minute preheat has passed, we can open up the tank and pour out the water. If the water comes out with a bit of a funky colour on it, that's perfectly normal. As you can see, this is coming out with a bluish yellow tinge. Now we add the developer and we start the timer. The developing period for the developer is 3 minutes and 30 seconds. Initially you should agitate for 10 minutes. Agitate simply means inverting the tank as you can see I'm doing here. After inverting make sure to tap the tank on the bench. To knock off all of the bubbles that may have formed on the film.
Use paper towel or toilet paper to keep your workspace clean. And in every step, the agitation must occur every 30 seconds. After the three and a half minutes has elapsed, we will be moving on to the Blix stage. Measuring out the 250 milliliters of Blix right now. Blix is a composite word for a composite step. Blix is bleach and fixer. And the blixing stage, which lasts for 6 minutes and 30 seconds, both bleaches the negatives and fixes the negatives. Now that the developer is finished, we can open up the tank, pour the developer back into its jar, and then we can pour in the blix and start the blix timer. Again, hold the developing tank at a 45 degree angle and pour slowly so that the blix doesn't bubble out. And then we will cap it and we will agitate it for 10 seconds after starting the timer. In this step you also agitate every 30 seconds. After the six and a half minutes has elapsed, you'll be moving on to the wash stage. The wash stage involves using clean water at 39 degrees. So use your thermometer, get the temperature of the tap water between 35 and 40 degrees Celsius. And then at the end of the blixing stage, you can pour the blix back into its container and we can start rinsing. At this stage your negatives are fully developed and can be exposed to regular light. So I've removed the top of the daylight developing tank and I'm using the clear water that is at 39 degrees to rinse. The rinse cycle lasts for exactly three minutes. After the rinse cycle has completed, you can pour out the water. And now we are going to stabilize it. The stabilizer should be put in for at least 30 seconds, up to a couple of minutes. After it's finished stabilizing, you are now ready to hang and dry. As you can see, I use a piece of string with a bulldog clip to hang up my negatives and I'm using my fingers to squeegee the excess liquid off the film and using a second bulldog clip to add weight to the bottom. Now the only thing left to do is to wait for the film to finish drying 